Well, Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri says there may be a way to stop this. He joins us tonight. Senator, thanks so much for coming on. Galling doesn't really describe this. How can we fix it? Well, one of the first things that you have to do, Tucker, is you've got to make clear that you can't come to this country and get welfare benefits and all manner of other uh, handouts from the federal government. But the Biden administration has done the reverse. They have eliminated the rules that said that you had to show that you could be independent financially, economically independent before you could come into the country. And when you throw open the border, I mean, listen, policy is destiny. When you tell people that you can come and get welfare, when you say that there's not going to be a border wall, when you say that unaccompanied minors will get released into the interior of the country, guess what? You create a border crisis, you create a human smuggling crisis, you create a humanitarian crisis, and that is exactly what President Biden has done. And done it without the consent of the governed. I mean, none of this has been voted on in the Congress. This is all being done through the agencies, effectively by executive order. So it's not democratic even. But then to exempt people who are breaking our laws from the onerous corona regulations the rest of us have been crushed by, what message are they sending to us? Well, I, I, well, what they're sending, the message they're sending is, is, is just lawlessness. And it's one standard for American citizens and one different standard for people coming illegally into the country. It is a major public health disaster. And they've created, as you've been reporting on, they've created a humanitarian disaster at the border. But also this, Tucker, these cartels, let's remember, nobody sets foot across that border on the southern end of it without the cartels. The cartels control right. that border. So what Joe Biden has effectively done is empower those cartels to make money, empower them to smuggle children, empower them to run drugs. They are now in full control of border policy because the U.S. president is letting them be.